discussion of religion and faith resonates across the world, often centering around one question, does God exist? The believer. I absolutely believe that God exists. I know there's a God. The atheist. There's a lack of data. We can believe all we want, but we can never know. And the man who claims he has the answer. You can conclude from modern physics is that God exists. Dr. Frank Tipler is a mathematics professor at Tulane University. He says he's made a divine discovery. It is not possible to divorce theology from science without throwing out Christianity. Therefore, we have a simple, very straightforward proof of the existence of God. According to Tipler, that proof can be determined by the laws of physics and quantum mechanics. These equations combined with this one tell us that there has to be more than one universe. Tipler has come up with this equation. It's not understandable to most, but Tipler concludes the initial conditions of our universe and what made it happen is not due to chance. He uses this diagram to make his point, and when dozens of numbers and mathematical symbols add up across the board, he says it equals God. The singularity is outside of space and time and is the ultimate uncaused cause of everything. Therefore, the initial singularity is God. But not everyone is seeing the light. We invited a group of atheists to watch Tipler's presentation. I see this beauty, I see this intelligence, but I don't give it a name. I can't without data, without empirical evidence. So, uh, so I'm not going to fill in that blank where the answer belongs with God like Tipler does. You kind of need to see the, the end result. Something has to be there and we can kind of come up with arguments and proofs all we want but if we don't actually have you know God there what good does all of the proofs and the, you know, and the ideas come up with? Tipler was once an atheist himself and knows how hard it is to believe, but says after he found the numbers and the scriptures connected so perfectly, it was a match made in heaven, and he converted. My early, younger self, 40 years ago, would be astounded to find his name on that book. But I have been forced to do these conclusions by the mathematical consequences of the laws of physics. And other math experts are praising Tipler's findings. This would be the father this would be the Holy Spirit. Dr. Paul Simony is the head of the physics department at Jacksonville University. Although he says personally he has questions about some of the research, there is nothing blasphemous about Tipler's theory, and it all makes sense. Everything in here is correct, and that his interpretation of the, of the equation is correct. I don't think that you have proof. I think you have evidence. You will not have proof. In fact, the Bible clearly says without faith, it is impossible to please God. And then it goes on to say that faith is the substance of things you hope for and the evidence of things that you can't see. And as long as the church bells continue to ring, there'll always be questions about faith. And while some believe God is no mystery, it's up to you to judge that for yourself.